In today's The Dish, we're talking pasta. Tonight, a celebrated culinary family from Italy is in town creating a five-course feast at Osteria in the city spring garden section. Ahead of this big celebration, Mama Anna Maria teaches me to make their famous tortelloni, a family specialty from Bologna that has been passed down for centuries. <laughs> This is an art form in Bologna where they, I mean, it's been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years. The art of making homemade fresh tortelloni. Tortelloni are big. Yeah. And tortellini it's are the, like the, little the guy. small ones that you usually get in the broth. James Beard award-winning chef Jeff Michaud invited the storied culinary family behind La Bottega del Marcellaio, a butcher shop and restaurant in the hills of Bologna, to his restaurant, Osteria on North Broad Street. Anna Maria says the secret to the tortelloni is the tradition. That all the grand, all the grandparents, grandmothers, they all, they all use it with the rolling pin. The bigger the rolling pin, the better the tortelloni. No machines. This is all by hand. And they stretch it out all by hand. They make these beautiful circles. This is good for your muscles. From anybody muscular. Yeah. <laughs> the dough is also hand mixed, and it's rich from whole eggs. This is just. 100% flour to 60% eggs. No salt and no shortcuts. This is a labor of love, tell her. Questo è un lavoro di amore che deve veramente piacere. Lavoro di amore. Now, Anna Maria hand cuts the shapes and starts to fill. There's three different types of ricotta she gets from Valsamoggia. And uh, she puts salt, Parmesan cheese, and parsley, yep. Time to wrap. Look how beautiful this is. Pretty, but tricky. Almost. Brava, brava. <laughs> oh. This is cute. Now, because this is fresh pasta, it gets a quick boil, so it's al dente. They like their pasta, like extruded pasta, very, very al dente. Like my wife likes it when it sticks in her teeth. Anna Maria tosses the tortelloni in an easy and light pomodoro sauce, and she does it her way. She likes sugar, so we do sugar, and that's what they do in Sicily. She tosses and plates gently so they don't break. And that one is yours. <laughs> is it mine? Is it popping out? Uh, a little bit. And then on top, we're going to put a little bit of ricotta salata, which is uh, ricotta that's been salted. And, and age. A touch of basil and serve. To Bologna. To Bologna. Delicioso. Molto, molto buono. Bono, bono, bono. Mm. So good. And I learned you cannot overstuff because uh, Mama Anna Maria kept saying, that one's yours. That one's yours. She's very specific about <laughs> her shape. I'm not pointing out yours. I was yeah. so, I was so close. Mm. But I, I ate mine. They look so pillowy <laughs> and delicious. They were perfection. Oh, my oh gosh. Oh, my gosh. Osteria also has a special place in our heart. It is where my husband and I had our very first date. What? And then where we went after we got engaged. So. Oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. And yeah, it is the very first restaurant that my husband and I went to when we were visiting Philadelphia when I came here for my interview oh my for gosh. 6 ABC. Oh, my How gosh. About that? Okay. Well, now I now need, you to, go have to, to, go. Now yeah, need to go to you Osteria. Have to go. <laughs> well, guess what? That five-course dinner at Osteria tonight with the family from Bologna mm -hmm. is happening. So if you want to go, they still have some seats. And, of course, James Beard Award-winning chef Jeff Michaud also hosts tours throughout Italy. One of those tours goes there to Bologna to their restaurant, La Bottega del Machalayo. So, mm, you know, yeah. if, if you want, you can visit them tonight here in Philly. You can go to Italy. You pick. We'll have more details coming up at 5. Action news at 10 a.m. road trip. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs>